Hi, I'm Canary 3D, and this is the Sculptural Genesis 8 Ultra Sun Kit. I'm going to show you through the content library, but you can access it just as easily through Smart Content. So everything in this kit is contained under the People folder, the Props folder, or the Shader Presets folder. Shader Presets, there's a number of different substances that you can use. There's ceramic, there's glass, metal, and so on that are popular with statues. The props, there's a variety of bases, there's some columns, there's some lamps if you want to make a statue with a lamp in its head. There's a lot of things for holding, orbs, scepters, things like that, and then there's toppers as well. Um, so those are all in the props folder. Under people you have a variety of things. All of these items under people exist for Genesis 8 female or Genesis 8 male. So I'm just going to show you female. Under anatomy you've got eyebrows because the eyebrows need to be dimensional in order to look like a statue. Under characters you've got a preload that I'm going to go ahead and load up. This is the Genesis 8 female figure with the eyebrows already loaded, with the special UV loaded, with a marble texture applied, and with the custom shape preset applied. So this is kind of a quick way to load all the stuff that you might want to work with at once. So um, materials, well it's thinking, so I have to let it, I have to let it finish loading. There we go. All right, under materials, um, there are a group of presets that are what I think are going to be the um, what you're going to be most interested in using quickly. A wood, a stone, a plaster, um, and then chalkware, which is like the plaster sculptures from the 60s and 70s, um, a dark and light skin version, and then porcelain, a dark and a light skin version as well, and a bronze. And this is where you go to apply the UV to a figure. Again, this preload already has the UV applied, but that this is where you would go to be able to apply it quickly to a whole figure. And then there's a folder of poses um, that you can either use the base shape or the sculptural shape. And the poses are tweaked to fit the shape. And within each of those, there's splits for the top and the bottom. And then there's also a folder of hands. And there's a utility folder with things like uh, hiding the lower body, for example, um, which is useful if you want to put somebody inside a column or something like that. There's um, some other ones and some scaling options. Under shapes, you have the sculptural shape or the sculptural face only. Um, the shape does use some scaling, so if you find clothing doesn't fit quite right, um, that's a way to just apply the face instead to get some of the same look without having to worry too much about the scaling. The scaling things are minor, but some dresses crumple a little bit. And then under Genesis 8 Mail, you have all the same options. So here we have this figure, and she's wearing a marble right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some clothes on her. Um, so I'm just going to use my smart content and choose a dress. There's a particular dress that I like to use for uh, statues at the moment. I'm going to tell it to filter by context so it'll only show me the things that fit her, right? So let's see if it uh, does a good job. Um, and this outfit works very well to be a dress that a statue might have uh, as part of um, the statue. So for that, I want to now go and apply a stone texture to it, or a shader preset, I should say. And I believe she's wearing marble number five. So I go to the surfaces tab, I select all of the surfaces of the dress, then I go to the shader presets, Canary 3D Sculptural Genesis 8, and stone, and I pick this marble number five, and I just double click it to apply it to all the surfaces of this dress. And so now it will render matched to the surface the
texture that's on her skin. Um, now I'm going to grab some hair for her. Going back to Smart Content, I'm selecting her again over here in the scene. But now I want to turn off Filter by Context because I don't want to use the newest hair. Older hair models are much more chunky than contemporary hair models. In you know recent years, advances have made it much easier to make hair with a lot of strands in it to get a much more realistic hair. But we don't want realistic hair for a statue. We want hair that looks like stone or looks like you know bronze, plaster, whatever you choose. So for that, um, I like to look for some of the older hair. Um, there's some great hair that's Platinum Club hair. Uh, I like one called Sultry Hair. It's one of the ones by Gold Tassel. And I find this works really well for statues. A lot of this Genesis 1 and 2 generation hair works very well. Um, particularly Gold Tassel stuff that you can get in the Platinum Club for a very good price. So I'm going to go ahead and load up platinum hair here, and I'm going to use AutoFit to put it on her. And uh, not sorry, not platinum hair, sultry hair. Let me just zoom in a bit. All right. Right now, this is doing an eye ray preview, which is pretty uh, um, memory intensive and CPU intensive. This particular machine doesn't have an NVIDIA card, so it's not card intensive. But I've switched my view over just to a standard texture view, so I can work with this without having to wait quite so long. So I'm going to fit this to the figure. And it's coming from Genesis 2 Female, so I'm just going to run an auto fit. And that will adjust it to fit her. The updo hair and the short hair in general um, moves very well between generations this way. So now I'm going to go back to the content library, and I'm going to use that same marble again. I'm going to select all of the surfaces of this hair, and I'm going to apply the marble. Now, in reality, you don't want all of the surfaces because it's going to end up not looking quite right, you want to make some of these surfaces invisible. So there's this folder called Utility, and here is where you can apply the special UV to a single surface of uh, Genesis 8 figure. You can change your tiling for your textures, and you can make things invisible or not invisible or nearly invisible. So I'm going to make the scalp invisible, and then I'm going to select all these things that say Fine which are the more strandy hairs, and I'm going to make them invisible too. And I think the result is pretty good um, statue hair, pretty good statue clothing. So now I'm just going to zoom back out again. I'm going to apply a pose. Let me get her centered. So I'm going to go back to my poses folder now. And I'm going to choose the female sculptural shape. I'm going to pick this pose, and I just applied it to the hair because I didn't pay attention, so now the hair is crazy. I'm going to undo that. You learn from my mistakes. So grab the figure, apply the pose to the correct figure, now she has um, this pose art number one. So now she's starting to look more like a statue. So now I'm going to go to the props and I'm going to choose a base for her. I'm going to put her on this base. And it loads in below the floor plane. So you don't have to um, move her around to put her on the base. All of the bases load under the foot position. So now she's centered on that. Um, the base loads in with the texture already on it, but I'm going to go ahead and change its surface out. I'm going to grab that surface. I'm going to put her on a wood base, so I'm just going to go to wood and choose this maple. And now we have a little stone figure. 
on a wood base. And that is Sculptural Genesis 8 Ultra Fun Kit. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.